this is strong growing science and technology company that manufacture melon cans of different EV charger. And today, we're going to test our dynamic load balance function again. And you can see there are three cars in our parking lot. You can imagine these two cars just like home of mine. And that car is our testing car. So this BMW car, the max current is about 60 amperes. And this, this middle car, the max current is about 32 amperes. The last one is about 16 amperes. Now we got to uh, test our dynamic load balance function. So follow me, let's see what will happen. This is our dynamic load balance device and it connects to our black EV charger. And we can see on our app, the load limit is 15 amperes. Now we adjust it to 15.5 Amper. The black EV charger will automatically reduce to fit this all current. Let's see the current of this device. And this one is 28 Amperes. And this is 16 amperes. There are only two devices. And it will also display on our app. Now, if we start this orange one, you can imagine this blue one and the orange one just like your home appliance. So the this two current will not, it not change see the current 16 amperes the blue one is still 28 amperes so this time the black one will automatically reduce the ampere to 9, 9 amperes at the beginning it's at the beginning, it's 16 amperes. When we when we start the orange one, the current will automatically reduce to eight or nine amperes to protect the your home current from tripping. Now, if we let's make sure about our this our dynamic load balance function. Now we stop this orange one again. You can see now this orange one is stopped and the blue one still 28 amperes. And this black one, you can see it's come back to 16 amperes. So now we can see our dynamic load balance function is work perfect.